Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual advice reading for the day of December 8th of 2021. So for this reading, I've been guided to the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron reed Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whoever needs to hear these messages most with clearly defined messages regarding the energy that will be surrounding them on into and through December 8th of 2021. So I see an energy here of a feminine air sign for some Libra Aquarius Gemini, or this is someone that you're connecting with. This could also be someone taking on uh, the queen of swords energies of I know um, what I'm creating. I'm very balanced. I'm obtaining a lot of wisdom and I can see clearly. I can see clearly now, right? That the 6th and the 5th and the 7th of December have now passed. We are going into the direction of someone or something that feels right here on the 8th of December, but strong enough to be able to speak one's truth. In relation to another or others, we have a lot of strength here, Major Arcana. So Spirit's saying we're giving uh, this person, group of people, the strength uh, to speak your truth when it comes in uh, to connecting with uh, like-minded people or another person. Uh, is this the right connection, circumstance, situation or not? And um, yeah, feeling like you're on top of the world, like you can make some decisions uh, even if something feels perfect, you have the ability to kind of observe for a minute on the 8th. So you may be observing something early on the 8th. And then in the creative aspects position, we've got this six of fire energy. So starting to receive a lot of attention and recognition in connection to someone else here. For some, we could have a water sign uh, in your thoughts, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you're connecting with someone who has Leo in their chart with the Strength card. Uh, because with a, a Six of Fire, we have more passion here. We have you receiving a lot of attention and recognition, realizing in your thoughts with the Two of Cups that something feels right. And now you're finding the strength to connect with another or others so that you can step into the direction of a wish come true. So the actions in the actions position, we have the major arcana, the star. So we've now got two major arcanas out of five cards. So this is uh, being strong enough in relation to others to actually accept that wish come true. Uh, if you haven't been wishing and praying for something, now's the time to take action to do so. Uh, because when the star card shows up here, this is spirit saying, we are watching you with this queen of air energy. We are listening to your prayers. We're uh, acknowledging uh, the wisdom you are obtaining at this time. And we will help to bring you uh, any clarity or strength as these wishes come true for you. That there will be some form of wish through your actions. And some of you are recognizing that in the second half of December 8th. So emotionally, we got a lot of passion going on here. I have seen this on other days, but maybe in different positions. In this case, emotionally, there's a lot of passion. There's the realization of a new passionate direction. So it could be career and finance with the Ace of Wands, um, but it's right above the star card here having the strength to go into an exciting new direction. This is definitely someone who's like, I'm on top of the world. I know that these people and this situation was meant to be for me. Um, I'm going excitedly into this new direction, recognizing that my actions have helped for me to make a wish come true. Now this is going to happen the day before on December 7th or on December 8th here attention and recognition come. And it's like, Oh my goodness. So spirit saying when the call comes, answer it. You have resurrected from maybe a not being clear about what you desire or being fearful of receiving some form of attention and recognition here. You're going to be given the strength to rise above where you used to be and to acknowledge and learn new things. This is a higher, better path for someone who's been there, done that, and they're releasing the past and they're only going to connect with people whereby uh, they make you feel excited 
professionally, personally, yeah. Okay, so we have the Empress, another major arcana. In the day-to-day -day aspects, position male or female, this is someone who is being assisted by spirit to continue to move into the direction whereby you're going to be receiving a lot more attention and recognition. There just may be the realization on uh, December 8th that, oh my gosh, I gave birth to this new direction. I'm excited emotionally because I know this is the right person or people. I just need to find the strength to get up and go into that direction, rise into a higher, better journey. Yes, because we have the Three of Fire that's been showing up for a lot of people collectively and personally. And the Three of Fire is about um, putting the time and effort in until. Uh, I feel like this is the strength to kind of keep going with this wish. Uh, to keep building upon this wish, you know. Uh, start to maybe create a journal if you're in a new location here. And uh, write down all the things that you've learned, the things that you accomplished day to day. Because when we write it down, it's rather surprising how much we have accomplished. We don't think about it in the day-to-day. -day. So in a three-card summary with the same good tarot deck, we've got uh, the Ten of Fire. So the end of one passionate situation, home, family, but more so business. Communication coming in, that is good. Um, hoping and observing what could be a solid foundation here. After a lot of hard work and effort, there goes the world card. So things have gone full circle, uh, and there's a realization of that on December 8th. And then, yeah, something comes in quickly here. For some, I do see the king of water energy. They may have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And someone's trying to get to the truth of are they being manipulative or do they want to manifest something good together? leaving troubled waters behind and stepping into the sunlight because you put time and effort into manifesting exactly what you are wishing for here. Your actions are guiding you to some of you physically travel into the direction of a new opportunity. So in the third position, we have the Ten of Water and the Ace of Air. So again, we've got a couple aces here. Ace of Fire representing creativity, finance, career, passion, and the Ace of Air, which is I am now recognizing victory in a new direction. Therefore, with this double-edged sword, the Ace of Air, I need to cut away from uh, anyone who takes from my feel-good energy. I see wishes coming true in the area of money. I, I see great emotional fulfillment in this new path, in this new direction. And if you're single, it is in this new direction where you may be coming together with someone here who's very tempting. That's a personal read in its own. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify these messages. And to do so, I'm going to bring in the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti. Please confirm and clarify these messages for whoever needed to hear these messages today, December 8th of 2021. Confirm and clarify, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. Yeah, so I do feel like someone's very clear about their boundaries here. And if someone around them is not healthy for them or is, or is someone they don't want in their journey, uh, there is just this energy of I can just focus on me and slowly but surely go away from who and or what uh, doesn't serve me. Uh, instead, I'm going into the direction of the Two of Water, something that feels right, and I am seeing a building or organization. So there could be that I have some fear here in spirit saying fear not. We're giving you the strength to connect with someone here in the relationship sector. Um, it's being shown as a passionate masculine, but with a, a business card here, uh, I, it could be that you're just connecting with someone at a business who's very passionate about the work that they do, and um, it just feels like the right connection. So Spirit's giving you the strength to kind of hang in there as you learn new things, knowing that what you are creating at this time is indeed going to bring you a lot of attention and recognition um, to eventually go into the direction of someone new if you're single at this new location. And we talked about this in up through 2021. That 2022 is going to be about marriages, commitments, partnerships, moving in together, moving in general if you haven't already. So in the actions position, yeah, a wish comes true and the clouds kind of burn away. The fear goes away because you're going into the direction of a passionate masculine here or someone who is in a leadership position focused on career and finance, male or female. 
Yeah, so there is a lot of passion showing up here. Some of you may indeed meet someone via a business or organization and you're wanting to go into the direction of them to see if a wish is coming true here. But uh, Spirit does have the snake in the center of the spread. So subconsciously, Spirit's saying, answer the call and know that you have risen above old difficulties, un healthy connections, people who are um, some form of temptation. And Spirit's saying, roll the dice, check it out. You'll have the strength to see if you want to give birth to this person, place, circumstance, situation or not throughout December 8th. Uh, continue to research this next chapter of your life. Again, now I'm seeing a book talking about a journal, journaling this new business, this new circumstance, what you're learning um, and uh, learning something. And I think like spiritually it's like oh my gosh I'm very passionate about what I'm learning I'm glad that I traveled into this new direction and met up with someone here via a, bu a business or organization because now I can travel into the direction of new a new person or people I can roll the dice take a risk and rise above where I'm at because I'm now very very passionate about this opportunity this building this organization I can now travel into the direction where a wish is finally coming true and as I do I'm feeling much stronger Wow so thank you to those of you who've been letting me know via the comment section and or email that these are indeed your energies, your messages, and how these messages have been helping to guide you. I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord Spirit, Guides and Angels, please close this reading with clearly defined messages and or spiritual guidance for whoever's reading this is December 8th of 2021. So it is indeed time to start to think about this new path, a new offer, a new opportunity, recognizing that you have risen above, right? You are not repeating unhealthy people, places, circumstances, situations, environments, temptations, and so on. Instead, you're following your intuition and are obtaining some insight at this time and spirit saying your intuitive abilities especially on the 8th of december are going to feel very accurate because they are going to be accurate you can trust your guidance to lead you into the right direction right and away from a snake you can roll the dice take a risk see what's on offer and we'll have the strength to decide what you want to give birth to here some of you are giving birth to the next chapter of your life via a building or organization and it feels good Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear like we talked about or worry to guide your way because it could cause like unhealthy energy. It may be best to keep some form of secret to yourself at this time. I think there's a, a reason to go and jump and share and tell others about this wish, this travel, to go and meet up with someone here um, and then uh, will come a lot of attention. Um, but yeah, keep it quiet for a minute, even though you feel like you're jumping out of your skin, eventually you're going to be able to embrace those around you, your soulmates, family, and friends, and share the beginning of a new emotional experience that could lead into something much deeper, into a direction you may have never expected. A social invitation could then be on your way. Follow your intuition. You will know what to do. You will know what's a good decision, what's a bad decision, what's moral and what is immoral, right? What you want to create for yourself and who and or what you are going to step beyond. So they can fall away and better things can come. So a wish can finally come true through traveling and meeting up with someone here. So if you're meeting up on the 8th, let me know. You may be fearful but you're going to receive a lot of attention, recognition, and start to feel very passionate about this opportunity or person. So I am for now offering four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. Just email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. I um, am 
still offering the fall special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. Thank you so very, very much as well to those of you who have continued to donate to the channel to keep it up and running. Take care and God bless.